it's me and today we are gonna be trying out some more dumb clothing hacks to see if they actually work let me waste my time so you don't have to you know some of these might seem promising oversized coat nah not anymore you just grab a pair of scissors and time to desecrate this coat buttoned it tucked it what no way you got that cute AF two-piece suit set from snipping your old blazer. It looks so put together, so fancy. Mwah. Watch me do it and it's gonna look like trash. Are you sick and tired of looking like a CEO? Do your employees think you look too rough? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to thought it up. I think I'll just take my suit jacket and slice. We're just cutting it in half, right down the center. Oh no, I almost cut the extra buttons. It's crazy how this cuts more easily than a flimsy t-shirt. Now we got a two-piece suit set. <laughs> we gotta put it on like, oh, it has pockets. Wow. Now we button the button to make it official. Okay, there's one button. Is it looking like a skirt? If it doesn't, tuck it in to make it look like a skirt. This looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But wait, suit jacket. Now I don't have a button on this, okay? And the skirt situation is just awkward. <laughs> Look, I lost 25 pounds by cutting my suit. This look deserves the mirror. Come, come, come. Oh, okay, you know, I see what they were trying to do. In some alternate universe, this could have been cute. I could have tucked it in. It do be looking straight out of Balenciaga though. Do I dare look at the back? Black box. What is this? It's like a secret pocket. But there's no pocket. Is it for a tail? But I'm not a dog. I could hide so many snacks in here. I could probably even put a dog in here. Ash, bring your dog to work day. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Oh no, her feet are hanging out. Rate this look in the comments below. Five being the best, zero being the worst. Big old dress shirt. Oh, you know, I really do appreciate these hacks where you don't have to cut anything. No permanent damage was done to these garments. All right, I don't know how I feel about the denim. It could work. You know, I'm gonna give them the benefit of a doubt. I ain't gonna roast you too hard until I actually try it. I feel like I need very specific instructions for this one. My flannel is not long enough. Where am I supposed to get a flannel dress from? It's not every day you come across a denim flannel dress. So we're gonna make a shirt version of this. So I have this like half button, I have the sleeves. I'm gonna cross them, okay? And then I'm gonna take the button and the hook from each side. <laughs> This is difficult, baby, and you tell. Why do these feel so short? It's five in the morning. And not because we wake up early. No, it's actually, six. it's almost six. I can't believe it's still dark outside. Okay, well, this is this is what I got. I hope you like it, because I don't, and somebody should like it. There's nothing good to say about this hack. This just looks ridiculous. I feel like the idea was okay. I'm going to undo the neck button that we spent so long trying to do. Okay, so hear me out. This is a better hack you can do. You see the sleeves I just pulled my thing down and then I'm gonna tie it right here that's perfect this is really cute this is something I would actually wear look at that it's so easy snatches you up and this could pass as like an actual shirt that's like really cute or if you wanted you could tie it in the back too wow yes whatever we did before that was no <laughs> Wait, where did her dress go? We just gonna completely ignore the dress was a dress. It's, it's a bodysuit now. It is a bodysuit now. Isn't it gonna be bunchy? Oh wait, it might actually be bunchy in all the right areas. Some added thickness. I really love this dress, but can I wear it with jeans? And then just have like this part as a top, I think it would be really cute. So I have my jeans. These ones are very uh, holy. Get it, cause I'm a nun. Oh, where does all this excess go? All this excess skirt, really shove it in there. Okay, I'm trying. Temps are being made. And then this one's a struggle because it's buttons. Oh, it's too tight. Oh, okay. Doesn't look sus or anything? Like from what I can see on the camera, hold on, let me, let me hide my shorts. This might actually be pretty cute. Yeah, but y'all prove me wrong. You can tuck a whole skirt from a dress in jeans and it's like fine, right? I don't look like lumpy. It feels lumpy, probably cause I know there's like a whole entire like skirt in there, but I'm like gonna lie, it's kinda cute. So she has a big old t-shirt, took the pockets, put a belt in them, tucked in the pockets and then, then wrapped around the belt. That does look like a skirt. It looks pretty legit if you ask me. High hopes for this one. We're gonna take the neck hole and put our feet through. Okay, no, I'm a little too thick for this. It might not work. Ooh. We're in. Now you have your shirt on, the wrong hole. And then we're gonna take a belt, put it in through the arms, so it comes out like that, like a snake. Crisscross it, and then do the belt. I can't see what I'm doing. Wait, are we tucking the pockets in or not? We just, this, this is it, the skirt. Wow, so boho. It reminds me of the samurai. What do you think? Mm, blue, white fashion. I don't know, I was thinking it was gonna be 
way cuter than this, but I feel like it did it wrong. <laughs> this is a no for me. Wearing your shirt as a skirt, what are you thinking? <laughs> I feel like if you really wanted to do that, you would just like tuck in the sleeves like that. Excuse you, I am trying to cook right now. And then just like wear it like that. Like what's wrong with this? Why you gotta put a belt into the mix? Actually, I kind of like it like this. The pockets are nice. And it's like for people who want warm hands. She took a big old shirt, cut it into a tank top. So, oh, we gotta sew. We really gotta sew. I ain't trying to sew today. Sew in a rubber band. Rubber band. I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not that skinny. And then they took some safety pins, pinned it together like this, and made this dress. All right, that's very cute. High hopes for this one. I like it a lot. I'm gonna ruin your shirt for this. No. It's a pretty big shirt. It's wide. So I need to make a skirt out of this. I think we're just gonna like start by cutting it in half. I gotta make sure the skirt section is long enough. One day I will buy fabric scissors for these hacks. Until then, we're gonna struggle cut everything. That's the jaggediest edge I ever, oh! Looking like some crusty nacho cheese. There we go. We have to somehow make this into a skirt. And now this into a tank top. I'm gonna fold this and then cut it. So we're basically making this into a brand new shirt. This mustard shirt never existed. She's gonna be a dress soon. I think I messed up. No, okay, we're good, we're good. We're gonna cut the collar off. Really scoop that neck. Scoop it so that mother may not approve of it anymore. All right, there we go. Boom, tank-ish top. And now we glue the sides. It's a hole. I'm going to flip it. I refuse to sew, so we're going to glue. Reloading. So basically, I'm just closing the sides that I opened up. Make sure to leave enough space for the armholes. We gotta put arms through these one day. Now, fun fact, almost every cosplay I've ever done, I glued the pieces together. I didn't sew them. That's why I don't wear them at conventions. Everything just falls apart, like my life. I'm gonna turn it inside out. Wham, bam, we got a semblance of a shirt, ma'am. You know what? If you really like this hack, you can take the time and effort to do it very clean, like with a sewing machine, like professional. But you know, we don't do professional on this channel. You can watch five minute crafts for that. <laughs> so I have to make this into a skirt. We're just gonna guess the measurements. I'm just gonna glue the excess fabric on the back of this and hope it stays. Flip it inside out -y. I have the safety pins. I don't know if I should like do this now, but basically I'm gonna, why these don't go through the fabric? Boom. Okay, time to make this edgy. I did that wrong. I don't know why the safety pin is like struggling to go through this $6 fabric. This is a real hack. When you have frayed edges like this, you just pull them and then look, it makes like this nice little, that's a real hack. Wow. Okay, I think this is coming along pretty nicely if I do say so myself. Looking like some bootleg fashion nova, but does it pass the wear test? So I added more safety pins. You know what, I kinda like how this came out. It's decent, This just this part, I feel like I should've flipped the skirt so it's like this part was on the outside. I, I, I messed up the skirt, that's my fault. You know what, this hack 100% works. It's doable. I feel like if you really wanted to and wanted to put like a little more effort than I put in, you can make a really cute wearable dress out of an oversized t-shirt, so. You know what, I do like the yellow though and the safety pins are just, I like the sound it makes. Overall, not bad. I'm not gonna hate on this hack. Overall, pleasantly surprised. Oh, I can't say the same about the back. It's got a scoop. We've got a regular t-shirt here. Ugh, baggy, disgusting. Take a hair tie, roll it up your sleeve. Bro, my circulation gonna cut off in three, two, one. I've been seeing these shirts all over Instagram. They're super trendy right now. I thought you'd just like roll your sleeves, but apparently you can do it this way, so. I'm the type of person who can't even wear a hairband on my wrist without feeling like I'm gonna pass out. Slightly anemic check. I'm really hoping to completely transform this look. As you can see, oversized t-shirt. I have a hairband. Oh no, it's like when they put a band on your arm before they give you a shot. I already don't like it. I'm gonna take all that excess sleeve meat. Pray this doesn't snap. Okay, that is very awkward. Okay. It doesn't look like I did in the video. I feel like if you mess with this for a while, you could probably get it neat enough. I'm gonna tuck in the rest and see if that helps. Oh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's okay. It's like I'm not complaining, but I am losing circulation in my arms as we speak right now. Maybe it should be a pyre. Maybe that'll make it work better. Why it built like that? This shirt does not want to cooperate today. You know what? We're just gonna. Mm. There we go. That's better. I, I feel like that looks better. I don't even need a hairband for it. This is a mess. 
and I'm not impressed. I don't like it. You can take your hair bands. Oh, that feels so much better. They called hair bands for a reason. I'd rather just like take your hair band, boom, just like that. You feel an extra fancy? Roll up the bottom of your sleeves. I always have to get someone to do this for me. You know what? I think I did it better. My hack's different, but it's better, more efficient. It looks good 360. I mean, it's all right. If you don't like the knot, you tuck that bad boy in. No, it looks weird. Don't tuck it in. Or a fat knot, because this is not a good hack. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one of these hacks that I do the best. Or do all of them belong in the trash? If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.